Hi, thanks for joining me today. Some of you may have watched my last video, which introduced my automated photogrammetry jig. A few people showed interest in the technical side of it and how it was made, so I've put together this video to show how it developed from a simple rotation tool to the fully automated device that it is now. I was scanning small objects and initially I wanted a way to rotate something, then pause while I took the picture, rotate some more, pause again, you get the idea. I had one of these small photo booths that you see advertised on discount sites and thought that was the best way to go. I 3D printed the motor holder and used some spray can tops I had lying around that were the same height to support the booth and tried it out. It worked okay. I was new to programming Arduinos and I was quite pleased with the result. At this time I was using the Nikon camera and my trusty old Fuji S9600, both of them through remotes. The Nikon uses an infrared remote and the Fuji a push button one connected by wire. I now had the crazy idea of automating the process, having Arduino take a picture between each rotation. It took a couple of weeks for me to work out how to do that, but I ended up with this result. I then wondered if it would be possible to rotate the whole thing forward and backwards to catch the top and underside instead of me moving the camera up and down. So I came up with this frame which allows the booth to rock on the roller section underneath, while a motorised screw lifted the front a small amount between rotations. When I tested it, I realised that this put the angle of rotation too far away from the object and scrapped that idea. Next came this design, which put both motors together on the same unit. This was the major change that became the finished version. I then extended it out so it would support the photo booth better. By now, the number of test prints I'd created was getting out of hand. During testing, I also found that the photo booth itself was affecting the lighting too much and I was getting better results without it. By now, I'd extended the size of the base for better support and designed the motor holder a little better. I added a small tower to mount a micro switch on and moved the main section to line the carriage up with the switch. The carriage didn't need to be as large as it was anymore because it didn't need to hold the photo booth. So that became a much more minimalistic design. So that pretty much brings us to where I created the last video. It still looked a bit messy and scrappy and I had some ideas of how I wanted to improve it. And this is the finished result. It's a smaller print, which I designed with the aim of it being printable on the smaller footprint of a resin printer. To make it smaller, I've moved the limit switch inside the frame and a small catch on the round support now triggers the switch. Finally, I'll give you a quick run through of all the parts that I used to make the circuit. I used an Arduino Uno, two 5 volt stepper motors and their controllers, a 5 volt relay, a micro switch, a buzzer, an infrared LED, a 330 ohm resistor and a copper mounting board. And this is a simplified diagram of how it's all put together. I've put some links below for the Arduino code, parts list, STL files and circuit diagram. I'd like to thank you if you've made it this far through and hopefully look forward to seeing you again when I put my next project together. In the meantime, take care.